hello hello hi guys how are you today so i am all ready for ascot this time it's not just for a photo shoot but i am actually attending the races super super excited i haven't been since 2019 and i was pregnant with baby james um i did my own hair today and makeup i'm very proud of the way i did my hair actually um it was sorry it's a bit shaky i'm in the car i used my ghd curler that i showed you guys on instagram story and then i used their amazing spray and then i brushed it out and when i brushed it out it just looks so beautiful like the perfect retro hair that i always normally need to get done from a hairdresser but i actually did it myself so i'm really impressed um the hat is beverly brooks same hat designer i wore hats from for my shoots that i did for royal ascot but then the dress is by lalagi lalagi puma and the bag is by lalagi puma i have worn this designer she has a shop in beach place i wore her in 2018 the first time for the royal wedding it was prince harry and Meghan's wedding which i covered uh for nbc with raya which was so much fun and i'm wearing one of her dresses again it's been a while wow and i just love because it's got like the royal blue inside but then it's a turquoise on the outside like a deep turquoise i feel like a peacock today and um and then the belt has this royal blue. I wanted to wear the shoes that I wore for my shoot, but I changed my mind. They're also Rupert Sanderson shoes. So I thought I'll change uh, the shoe, especially if I'm gonna take photos, otherwise it looked too similar to uh, last outfit I wore. Um, and yeah, I did say this year that I'm gonna try and get away from royal blues and blues and try to do more pink or a different color, but it didn't happen. <laughs> I mean, you can never go wrong with this color anyway. It's always so flattering and it's like, I feel it's so perfect for Ascot, but hopefully next year I'll do something different. <laughs> She's hosting Ascot and she kills it. I'm like, why would you hide these outfits? Why don't you just give them to me? All of them. <laughs> I have known you now for 10 years. Yes. Oh, Crazy. No, it's been that long. It's been that long. Wow. Yes, I'm here. I'm just surprised. <laughs> Amazing. Let's have a look at her outfit. And I need to hear where it's from. So where is that hat from, the headpiece? The hat, I have two pieces here. Mm -hmm. So the veil is from Stephen Jones. Wow. And the headpiece is from William Chambers. But you see what I mean? You're a genius. Yes, yeah, so I put the two together. <laughs> wow, and the dress? The dress is a vintage piece. It's actually a gown, but I had it altered to kind of make it. You, so it was a gown? Exactly. And then it came with this? Yes, this is all. It's vintage. And your belt, you added, oh, you added the brooch. made it a bit fitter. And it looks like it's a Chanel dress. Exactly. Exactly. And then your shoes. From Mia Mia. They're so cute. Can I see the heel? And they're super comfy. You always have fabulous shoes. We love shopping at Louis Vuitton together, don't we? We need to go back to those days. Yeah, we really need to. So this is my outfit. Hello, Maya. Lalagi Puma. Mm. It's one of your clients. Gorgeous. And you dressed me today in this. 
I absolutely adore it, how it looks on you. It's just so elegant. Very elegant. Very, very sophisticated. Very Meg for your lady. And the headpiece is Beverly Brooks. Actually, I've been wearing everything from her for this uh, Royal Ascot season, haven't I? And do you like how I curled my hair? I do, I do indeed. Myself. And how did it last? Because it's raining. You, um, it's I had special hairspray. Oh, okay. You it's need to give me the tips. It's GHD. It's a GHD hair curler hairspray that keeps, keeps it. For oh three my days. god, really? I swear to god, it's unbelievable. Oh my god, I have to have the details. The bag is Lalagi. Oh wow, I love the color match. The color match is great. I Gorgeous. wore these shoes different Gorgeous. to the ones I the Rupert Sanderson. Gorgeous. Just super comfy. I love the detail on the Maya. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. But you never fail so it's <laughs> absolutely it's funny you know, I, I keep saying I'm not gonna be a royal blue anymore for Ascot and now it's been like four seasons I'm a royal blue gorgeous and you know what I love about this dress is the peplum the most yes because now very flattering exactly very flattering and the waist pen she wears is so nice To my diet. <laughs> These look so good. Hello. So we're walking around now. Lady in red. Hi. This is Owen Golding that I spoke about on my vlog. That's her, the hat designer, the milliner. <laughs> Racing. I bid on a horse called Stradivarius. So he better win. <laughs> Did you bid for him as well? Yeah, we all want him to win. Jerkin for Joe Fanning in second place. And then the dark colours and white cap is Twilight Payment. Tom Marbon, the near side of James Doyle on Rick Van Lipsen. Oh my God, you better win, Stradivarius. You better win. Jacket Nair Frodos as runner-up is next. It's a blue and red jacket for Ben Curtis, who races in company with Serpentine and Ryan Moore. There is a gap of four or five lengths or so. What? He didn't win? No. <laughs> oh my god, I bid on him! Not a very And the finale! <laughs> it starts raining at the end, you guys. So there was a high prediction that it was gonna rain today. So I came in with a matching umbrella. <laughs> and luckily it rained in the end when I'm leaving. Hope you guys enjoyed my vlog today. And don't forget to always like and subscribe. Lots of love, bye. See you maybe next year in Royal Ascot. Oh,